Like $70. Alright. Hey everybody, so today uh me and Brian are kinda of going off the uh last video that I just made. Stop. I know you hate the Dallas Stars, but you know. Um so if you can remember um the last uh video I made, um they uh I unboxed a uh authentic like player owned jersey um by the Florida Panthers. So I go ahead and show it to you real quick. It's the uh, it's the Florida Panthers new design. Um, it says NHL rookie on the back. The number is um, 88, and it's signed by a couple players. Now the thing is about this jersey. Um, when I got it, I didn't really know what to expect. I thought it was like um, I thought I honestly thought it was just customized in some way, but. Um, when the guy sent it to me, he actually said he was the shuttle driver for the team, and um, that I guess like they they he said that they gave the staff that worked for them gave it to him as a gift, and um, they uh, so it's not like been it it was never customized by the actual bus driver. Um, he actually uh, just got that pre customized. And um, I did a little more research on it, and the numbers, the number eighty-eight is um, this uh, player named Jamie McBen or McGinn, who uh, who was uh, traded to the Panthers in the two thousand sixteen season, and um, but he had a back injury that um, caused him to not be able to play anymore, and mm -hmm. um, so he got moved to the. AHL and all that. So. Yep. And uh, Brian, you surprised by this? <laughs> by what? By the jersey I got. It's it's really weird how I got it in my hands right here. I think it's pretty cool. I'm, it's pretty cool that is is that is this that four signatures? Yeah, it's four signatures right here. Um, the only thing so, I have that signed is a golf scorecard by Peyton Manning. Yeah, but he um, you know. The the bus driver actually probably didn't even know about it because um because uh I guess I guess they were gonna give it to Jamie McGinn when he was uh gonna start playing, but then I guess he didn't want it or something, so they gave it to the bus driver and what he did he asked some of the players to sign it for him and I did a little research on it. Um, why would he want it? He already owns one. <laughs> yeah, number two is Josh Brown. And um, some of the other players on here get. Whoops, I'm gonna flip it over here. All right, we have number seventy-three and number seventy. I'm gonna quickly look it up here. I thought you already um, knew. What if they're no longer on the Panthers? Uh, I don't think they are. It's only uh. The actual number 88, Jamie McGinn, he actually is on the AHL right now. It's uh, Dryden, Dryden Hunt is number 73. And then we're going to look at number 70. Let's see here. Who's these two? Uh, this one is Josh Brown, number two. And... I don't know who that is. It looks like it says number one right there, but it didn't say that it actually they did have a player number one, so uh, that's not it. Okay. Alright, where's number 70 here? Um, sorry. If, yeah, it's uh, Riley Stillman. Now, isn't Riley Stillman, like, isn't he a pretty good player? I have no clue. I've never heard of him. Oh, uh, really? I, I heard he was, uh... I mean, I've heard him before. Uh, First time I've ever heard his name. Yeah. Hang on, where did I go? Yeah. China. Wait, now now it's ch changing our thing. <laughs> What's going on here? Okay, there he is. Riley Stillman, his position is defense. Um, I guess he was uh, probably... I guess I heard him in one of my streams. I'm actually not entirely sure. And, um. 
Then we have, where's uh, 73? Dryden Hunt is the left wing. So, um, Hunt is uh, on offense. And then we have um, Riley Stillman is defense. Number two, um, Josh Brown plays defense. So, yeah, I don't know who number one is. Yeah, I don't think they do have a number. No, it actually does. It's Roberto Luongo. That doesn't look like Luongo. Hmm. It doesn't look like his signature. Uh, well, it, it probably isn't even actually the number one, though. It was probably just part of the uh, signature uh, school yeah, author, probably. but um, this is something else that actually makes this uh, really, really valuable. Could it be the person whose jersey? It? Could it be Hunt's signature? Well, probably. I don't know. Um, if anybody... Let me stop. If anybody knows uh, which... Um, player that is, please let me know. And um, so also uh, what makes this uh, super valuable is that this was actually made by Reebok and it has the new Florida Panthers design on it. And so what happened is that in the 2016 se season, um, the Panthers actually uh, changed their uh, jersey design. I actually like the old logo better. Why? Because it has the panther like coming at you. Yeah, rawr. <laughs> well, um, the thing is about it though is that um, when they changed it, Reebok was still making the uh, jerseys. This is a Reebok one. It's a uh, really. Uh, it's it's like it's like an actual real player jersey. So. Um, what makes it even uh, cooler is the fact that that was like the one year that um, that Reebok actually still made the jerseys. Yes. So um, so this would actually become like pretty valuable, actually, to be honest, because then after that, Adidas started making the jerseys. So this is like just a one of a kind jersey that yeah, has signatures on it. Yeah. So that that makes it like some ultra valuable thing and to know that was it was not pre-customized when that happened that's actually really good so you know all right brian you have any comments to say about that i think it's cool yeah i still think it's weird that i'm in a blackhawks helmet while in a predator shirt but you know yeah <laughs> uh i think it's pretty cool um be interesting to figure out who number one is if that's actually number one. Yeah, uh, I think it's pretty cool. I do like the new design. I just like the older design better. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, uh, that will be it for today. Um, make sure to stay tuned uh, for our uh, st not our street hockey series, but the knee hockey series that we're about to um, get on with. Uh, so we're going to be doing the playoffs as soon as possible. We got everything set up and ready. Um, just have to find just, time at this point. <laughs> yeah, uh, and we also got to figure out where the camera's going to go. Yeah. So, anyway, um, yeah, make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe. It will help out my channel a whole lot, and it will. Uh, I'll really appreciate it as well. So, anyway, that will be it for today, guys. See you all later.